right, friends, so here is my breakfast nook. We're in the middle of changing things up here. If you've read the blog or seen any of my previous videos, you will know this is not what our breakfast nook used to look like. We actually just sold the our breakfast nook furniture um, on Facebook Marketplace. So now I definitely have enough money to fix this area up the way I really want it to look. Now, the tables and chairs that are there now are basically from around my house. <laughs> Shop your own home, you guys. The table is from my office, which was just collecting nonsense. And the chairs are from our dining room. If you saw my living room and dining room makeover of a while back, you will recognize them. And I love how they look here, but this is not the look that I'm going for. Um, you can see my family room is very uh, muted and a bit more transitional. The dining room area does not work great with that look. So we'll update the bench because my daughter loves that bench so much. This was like an experiment one day, like back in 2016. I found this little love seat at a thrift store. I think it was like 30 or 40 bucks. I bought it. I was like, I wonder if that would work in our eating area because being cats and stuff was really big back in 2015, 2016. And it was like, oh, everyone loved it. Everyone ha loved having that there. When kids come over, that's where they sit. My daughter, that's the only place she sits. My husband loves sitting there on Sundays to like enjoy his football snacky thing because the TV's like, so right. that bench worked out well, love seat, settee, whatever you want to call it, worked out really well, but it's just seen better days. Look at it. <laughs> you guys. Oh, it's terrible. I don't even know why it discolored this way, but it's, you know, we got our money's worth, so we're getting rid of that. The other thing I'm going to be updating is our coffee bar. We use this every single day. I mean, every single day. And the white color with coffee, not so much. Let me show you guys. How gross it got. So I basically put some craft paper on top until I get to paint it. And you guys, I think I'm gonna paint it black. <laughs> yes. I, I think I am going to go with black. And of course I will restyle the shelves. I'm gonna use that time to also declutter because while we the top drawer is very useful. It's where we keep our teas, coffee, Splenda, and in here too we have like more um more tea and straws and things. But the rest of it, you guys, it's nothing but mess in here. Cookbooks, just random things is this filter for the fridge. I mean, stuff, look, I bought this, never even used it, it's ridiculous. So yeah, I'm, okay. and I'm also going to be <laughs> getting some new mugs. One, these, I love these from Anthropology, and they do not, um, they're not practical because of the little handle. I think I'm over mugs with things and stuff on them for the most part, maybe around Christmas but we gon' we gonna fix all this up. Although I am keeping my popcorn bowls from Crate and Barrel. <laughs> I am keeping those. So let's look at the mood board. So you see what I'm going for. Changing it for wood, a round wood table, and we're gonna do four black um, spindle back chairs. I know that look is so popular. I am very basic, I don't care because that is the look I'm going for. I love that. And those chairs are, you know, I would say more on the farmhouse side, but I think it, it's gonna look great. And like I said, we'll do four chairs and when we can, we'll update the bench. But I do want a pedestal table. I do want it to be wood. I don't mind if it's a bit rustic, but it needs to be almost like an updated rustic. I wanna be able to change the mood or look of the area just by let's say changing the chairs because the table is just much more expensive so i feel like i have my work cut out for me to find a table that's going to be 
you know, rustic, but yet still kind of work for my space. That's within my budget. That's the big part, the budget. Part of me want to put a rug, but because our door to the backyard is like right here, I can't. So we, I'll, I'll get a new rug for right here, but there won't be a rug under the table. Plus it's too much crumbs and things like that. It's not worth it. It's easier to just use the Swiffer. I thought about painting the chandelier, but you know what? I'm gonna leave that gold just to tie back to my gold mirror. But I do have, as you can see, a lot of black um, accents in here. I thought about doing, uh, I don't know, some window treatments, but I don't think so because there's a window right here too. So what do I do with that, with this window with nothing on it, if this has curtains or something, but then the door's right next to it, but then you have the curtains over here. It's just, I think I'm just gonna keep it like this, <laughs> plain. I think I might maybe hang a little artwork like right here. But that's, that's it, you guys. So I am, you know, really looking forward to, I don't know, to kind of getting this done. I want to get rid of this table since before we moved here back in the beginning of 2018. And I've lived with it for the past two years. And now that I've sold a bunch of things, I'm so excited to change it. And again, this is the look I'm going for, a bit rustic and refined. And so it'll be black with the gold accents. I'll have the gold chandelier, wood table, black spindled back chair. I think I'm super excited and looking forward to it. So we will, we shall see, right? All right, friends, thank you so much for checking this out. Let me know what you think. Are you guys into the wood table with the black chairs? That's just, again, super popular right now. I know that probably makes me, as my daughter would say, it makes me basic, but that's fine. I'll be basic with some things. I'm not basic with everything, <laughs> but I love that look. And again, I think with the way our family room is looking, that that's going to look really good.